Hello, welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad, and today I'm going to be doing a Munsden beer. This one is part of their Donut series. This is Coconut Cronut with Dark Chocolate and Almond Glaze. There it is. This is an Imperial Pastry Stout at 11.5%. So pretty huge numbers there. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I picked it up at the Market Bottle Shop. Um, I don't know how much it cost me, just grabbing a glass. I feel like this one will be the most appropriate. It works well for all my big beers, big ABVs really, so I can get that alcohol swell. Uh, anyway, yeah, got it from the Market Bottle Shop. I uh, don't know how much it cost me because I picked it up and just walked, well, bought it and then walked up out. So I didn't really check. Uh, it has, it says contains gluten, so it's not a gluten, it's a gluten beer, so unfortunately the celiacs can't have it. Um checking if it's vegan it is vegan look at that right there it's vegan friendly beer so anyone who's vegan can have it um unless you've got gluten allergies then you can't have it anyway uh a month and they're from norway so it's quite a uh, quite a bit away but anyway um let's can out let's crack it open see what we got shall we it's a black top i like black tops think they're smart It is currently sweltering degrees hot. It is like, what is it? It's like 24. Uh, right, so, there's the beer. Got a lovely jet black beer. Let's see if there's any, there is alcohol lining. Don't know if my camera can really pick that up. Just about. Uh, but yeah, lovely, lovely jet black beers. No lights getting through that at all. Uh, it's got a nice, Tanned, compact head. Looks lovely. Let's get a smell to see what we get, shall we? You can smell that almond straight away. Almond, coconut. There's a hint of dark chocolate, but literally a hint. There's not a massive in there. It does smell like a Krispy Kreme. It's like walking in, you get that pastry, um, sweet smell. It smells lovely. Let's get a mouthful for body and carb. Carb super light. Body's about a medium, medium full body. It's not that full of a body as I thought it was going to be. But, um, yeah, it's nice and creamy, it's velvety, it's quite smooth. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. 11.5, very well hidden. There's no booze. There's no burning, there's no warming, there's nothing. Don't even get like an inkling of alcohol. It's so well hidden. It is amazing. Um, oh, wow. Right, almond, first thing you get. It's a um, big, bold flavour. It's followed with dark chocolate and a nice amount of it, so that's shining in my face there you go you can see it now um <coughs> yeah uh, almond and it's followed up it's big bowl flavors followed up with the dark chocolate you can't smell it but you can definitely taste it it's dark it's rich it's bitter but nice it still has a uh, creamy sweetness to it which is interesting it's good that they how they've done it considering it's a vegan beer um but it's like cacao nibs sort of um, flavour with a bit of vanilla that might be what it is that I'm getting it's it's got that dark bitterness the, the richness to it but it's got a nice sweet uh, flavour to it it might be cacao nibs and vanilla does it say not that I can see um, but yeah it's dark chocolate but it's it, yeah it's got a nice little sweetness in there um, you can taste the glazing the the pastry, the you know, the donut itself or the cronut, um, you can taste it. Like, like I say, 
walk into Krispy Kremes or something like that. We don't really have Dunkin' Donuts here. We, there's a couple, but it's not massive. Uh, but Krispy Kremes are all over. Yeah, you walk into a Krispy Kreme, you can smell the pastry, the sweetness. It smells great. And when you have one, and just a standard one, you've got that nice pastry sweetness, the sugariness in it. It's great. You can taste that. Like the sugary pastry flavours. It's lovely. There's a hint of cinnamon in it as well. It's fantastic. That is fantastic. Where is... No, none. Um, yeah, it is nice. It's got a nice warm feel to it from the spice, from the cinnamon. Uh, not from the alcohol. Like I say, you can't taste it. It's fantastic. It's dark, it's rich, it's bitter. But still has a nice sweet kick to it. It's very well balanced. It is a lovely back and forth between two flavours but not one of them is dominating it's just this lovely well balanced beer 11.5 it's fantastic chocolate cinnamon vanilla <coughs> pardon me <laughs> well vegan chocolate cinnamon vanilla and the pastry the donut itself the, the sweetness in it the yeah it's that's fantastic Amundsen have done a very good job it's been a little bit since I've had a proper Amundsen beer I had Pie Fighter not too long ago, and then that's about it. I've not really had one for a little bit. Um, and it's just good to see that when I do get them, they're not flukes. They are good beers. That, oh, it's fantastic. That cinnamon spice just hits the back of the throat, but doesn't not in an irritating way. You can just feel it. It's lovely. Well, well, nice beer. That's fantastic. That's, that's a really nice uh, Imperial Stout. A bit dangerous with it being 11, uh, 11 5. Anyway, I'm going away and enjoying this. I'm not drinking around anymore on camera. Um, so, a Munston's Donut series. Coconut, Cronut. Ooh, coconut. I didn't get much coconut. Do I get any coconut? got lost in the almonds and the chocolates and the cinnamon maybe a mild bit not massive Ooh, that might change my score completely I was gonna give this a whopping 10 um, but it's coconut you get a hint of it on the back end but not a massive I completely forgot about that that's how little in flavor it is Wow um, anyway I'm gonna go and knock it down to a 9 it's a fantastic beer I think that needs the coconut to be the front flavour. Anyway, um, yeah, 9 out of 10. Very, very nice beer. If you have had it, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Amundsen down below. Um, like I say, you can get this from the Market Bottle Shop. So if you want one, go say hello, pick one up, give it a go. Just, yeah, fantastic beer. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, I would love to try this on tap, you know. If there's any places that do this on tap, that would be fantastic. I don't think there is though. Um, and I only go here in Liverpool, so yeah, I've never seen them on tap. But yeah, this would be a lovely beer on tap. Uh, but yeah, if you've had it, let me know. If you've not, link down below. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.